Welcome to your first lesson on sketching in Fusion 360. Here we'll take an in-depth look at some of the basics of sketching, including how to create and modify a sketch using various techniques and principles that will be the basis of your 3D model. We'll go through a number of sketch options to help create your sketch, including lines and circles, as well as other sketch features to improve your workflow such as mirror, project and offset. After opening the first project file, you'll see a single body. To complete this design, we need to create several other bodies and components and we'll start by creating the bonnet. As we are designing a new part, we need to create and activate a new component, then rename it to something more appropriate. You can see the valve body has a reduced opacity, meaning we are not working on that model. However, we can use that component as the basis for our new design, meaning we are reducing risk of under or over designing our part. First turn on the analysis light bulb, which shows us a section view of the valve body. This view is dead center of our valve body, as both are referenced by the XZ or XZ plane, meaning now we can create a sketch on that same plane and the center point reference will be the same for both components, making our modeling process a lot easier. Now we'll create two vertical construction lines to define the upper and lower limit of our new component, as well as acting as a reference point for the 3D model we'll generate in the next video. Click on Create New Sketch and select the XZ plane as your reference plane. Then click on the line command and either press X on your keyboard or click on the construction option in the sketch palette on the right. Fusion 360 will automatically snap to the line, its endpoints, or as we want here, the center point as denoted by the triangular symbol. You can avoid this automatic snapping by pressing Ctrl or Command on a Mac. Create the two vertical construction lines, enter the dimensions in the dialog box and press Enter. Now we have the upper and lower limits of our design. In Fusion 360, a sketch is built of three sketch types. A blue sketch feature indicates it is not constrained, a black sketch feature indicates it is constrained, which I'll discuss in the next video, and a purple feature is a projected feature which updates automatically with its reference feature. In this case, we can see purple endpoints which were automatically projected off our valve body when we snap to its midpoint. If we update the valve body reference, these projected endpoints will also update. We can always break this link by right clicking and selecting break link. We can also see our vertical construction lines are black, meaning they are fully defined. You can also create a line or any other sketch feature easily using the shortcut commands or by customizing the toolbar and shortcut menu depending on your preferences. Simply click on the three dots next to any command and add or remove as preferred. You can also change the shortcut key for any command in the same feature menu. We'll select the line command and draw a very basic outline of our bonnet. Don't worry, we'll dimension and constrain the sketch in the next video. For now, we just need that basic shape to make sure what we are creating will fit in our existing valve body. Make sure the construction option is not selected and from the lower point of our recently created construction line, we'll start to draw our shape. Notice here, if I press, hold and drag, the sketch will automatically enter into an arc and I can then continue with the rest of my sketch. I can use other sketch features as reference points and you can see how the end point will snap to these points. It's worth noting that any points in space won't retain this snap as it is not fully constrained. However, in the next video, I'll explain how this can be done. With the last line entered, we can see the area within the sketch is now shaded, denoting that there are no gaps and the sketch is complete. As a quick introduction to sketch constraints, you can see a number of symbols on our sketch, which denote a particular constraint. Here we have perpendicular and tangential constraints, which are automatically set when we created our sketch. Constraints are what maintain the integrity of our model, meaning any changes you make to the sketch will only be done so in accordance with the specific constraint. You can easily delete these by left clicking on the constraint and pressing delete on your keyboard, or right clicking and selecting delete from the menu. Just to finish off this video, I wanted to show you a few other useful sketch features, ones which I use regularly. We want to create a chamfer at the top of this boss, and I'll show you one way of doing it using our sketch modify tools. First use the offset command to offset this top line, making sure to uncheck the change selection, then again using the line tool, create a 45 degree angled line. We want to mirror this line so any changes made here will propagate across. Before we start, we can see the line overextends, and by using the trim tool, we can cut this back appropriately. 
Now create a vertical construction line from the center of this line. Click on mirror and select the angled line as your object and the construction line as your mirror line. Now we've moved the feature and we can amend the offset value or the angle and the changes will be mirrored across. I'll finish our sketch by using the fillet command to round off these corners. We've completed creating the base of our sketch, although we can see this needs to be refined so it both aligns more accurately with our existing valve body and to have a fully constrained sketch which gives us more control over our design. With that in mind, I'll see you in the next video where we'll fully constrain and dimension our design before turning it into a 3D shape.